I, I know people always ask a million, like, how do you get harshness out of a vocal type question? So let's just, let's just jump into some of those real quick while we got a few minutes left. Um, I think that was actually literally one of the questions. What do you like for, uh, for, for, pulling out harshness are you like a soothe guy do you use multi-band compression are you with saturation what's what do you what do you like to get rid it's of a, a combination harsh? of things it's first pro cue figuring out what's there listening seeing the graph and then starting to notch mm. scalp scalpel notches just uh, well, so, so, right, so, so if so. people don't know pro pro q3 is my favorite eq plugin. it's my it's, it's my knife it's like my doctor's little <laughs> It's the best, so, and what it, what you can do is you can you can actually it'll if you put the cursor in a, per, a certain place it'll show you the spectrum of vocals. So if you have a harsh yes. sibilance somewhere, it'll actually show you where that is. Exactly. So the main thing is this for me. I it's very difficult, and this goes for a lot of things. It's very difficult to use one thing to control all these different things that you want to get out. For example, you say harshness. There's multiple variables of harshness in throwing just a soothe on there and not doing these cuts and that doesn't help the soothe work more efficiently, right? Because a soothe is now having to take on everything. And that goes for any plugin, a yeah. multiband. That multiband is having to take on the whole load of the work. So mm -hmm. for me, I like to create, make it easier for the next plugin to work, if that makes sense. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro Q, obviously low cuts, start notching all of the stuff that's abrasive. Once it's there, it's a little abrasive, but it's more controlled. So then, boom, next thing, soothe. Now, Soothe can work a little less hard and work a little more efficiently because I've taken out kind of the big stuff and now it's dealing with the, with the smaller stuff. And so it's not pulling as hard, right? It's not, because like, that'll happen. Like if you try to put all the work on one thing, it'll just start pulling because you're trying to get it all done. So, you, you know, so you'll see like, if I didn't do those notches, I'd actually have to work the Soothe harder, which would cause it to pull more. Right. So right, I'm right. trying to get as much done without having that pulling sensation, which I do with the EQ. Because the EQ, when you notch it down, it doesn't pull. But when you do that same thing with a multiband, it does. You know what I mean? Well, this is, this is why we talk a lot. Time. Yeah, this is why we talk a lot about um, other tools besides compressors to even out dynamics. And it's not that right. compressors are bad, but if you only use compressors, you start to feel that pulling. So it's like exactly. clip gaining and automating things and all of that so that yep. you can, and saturators so that you can even out the dynamics without just slamming shit on. So that when you do reach the multiband, you're not using it in a way where it's just fucking going to work. You're just more or, le more or less wiping off the last remaining dust and just, it's there now. It's beautiful. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it makes like logical sense to me that you wouldn't want to make one thing overwork when you could make multiple things work a little bit to get a better thing. You know what I mean? Like it just makes like, logical sense that that would be the case. Absolutely.